Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Shetty, a board certified dermatologist, and this video is all about menopause. Welcome to my channel. We will give you science. Menopause. The internet is buzzing with it. Everybody is talking, so I thought I should also talk. No, not really. What menopause does shows most on the skin, on the hair and on your body in general. So I get to deal with menopause a lot. So I want to firstly basically tell you, should you take it seriously? Yes, you should. Am I glad that internet is buzzing? Yes, because I myself have had my friends who are endocrinologists who said, oh, it's okay, you're just getting burnt out, you work too hard, you're always working, come on, when will you enjoy life, relax, it's not menopause, you're menopausing. One, one even told me you're done and dusted. Why are you sitting and worrying so much about weight and hair fall? Like, what? So I understand when everybody's buzzing and going crazy about this whole thing. But I also can't understand sometimes it's overhyped. So everything that you're thinking, don't say, oh, this is menopause, this is menopause. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a vitamin deficiency. Maybe it's just a thyroid going wrong. Just fix all these things and everything will be up and about. So it's important for you to understand what set of things are happening because of menopause, what may be happening linked to menopause, and what may be totally irrespective of menopause. So it's important to differentiate all of these things and treat them appropriately to... You don't have to be glum saying, yes, I do feel sad. I am depressed because I'm menopausing. Maybe not. Maybe this is how you keep telling yourself, I'm menopausing. I should be depressed. I'm menopausing. I should feel sad. And you end up feeling sad. So don't take every, you know how it is when someone tells you, um, when you, you know, somebody told me once, there's a marketing way that people do when you go to buy things in a store. Ma'am, here is a cream for your dark circles. They're just putting it in your head, you have dark circles. You will be thinking, oh, do I have dark circles? Should I be buying the cream? It's like that. So if somebody is constantly telling you, menopause will make you feel sad and menopause will make you do this, you will start feeling the symptoms. It could be that. For a lot of people, menopause could be breeze. It's like periods, right? A lot of us have PMS. A lot of us have no PMS at all. So menopause is similar. So not everyone has the symptoms. So it's okay. But if you do have the symptoms, you must understand there's a lot of work that's been put into hormone replacement now. The scare of cancer is not as bad as it is. There is more science to it. People do some testing. And then there are experts who only practice HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy, bioidentical, no bioidentical, all sorts of things. There are various ways of taking it. Orally, you can take pills and capsules, or you can end up doing transdermal approaches, which could be creams, gels, patches, all of that. So understand that there is help and you could make it easy, but not everything has to be about menopause is what I want you to know. Two, please understand simply sometimes taking it easy may help you. Like I was just putting something on the Instagram where, um, you know, when a lot of Indian cultures and I'm sure internationally many others will also have when a child or a girl atta attains menarche, which is her first period, People ask her to rest. It is literally like one ritual and she's bathed and she's taken care of and special food is cooked for her or special laddus are made for her. Likewise, during pregnancy, those 40 days after childbirth is taken care of so well. Now, all of this is because there is sudden hormone shift in these days, right? Pregnancy, your hormones are at its best to take care of your baby. Suddenly, everything falls down after the pregnancy, after the baby comes out. So there is a shift in hormone. Likewise, during periods, suddenly all the puberty hormones are kicking in. There's a shift in hormone. Likewise, in menopause, suddenly all the hormones are plummeting down, slowing down. So there is a shift. Now, each shift can bring down its symptoms, bring on its symptoms, but body will learn to handle because that is the process of life and process of biology. So body learns to handle that. That period of adaptiveness is where you need to handhold with an expert or yourself or, or, or getting more aware of what's happening. That is really, really important. I always keep explaining it as this is the teenage of the second half of your life, which means to say during teenage, your teenage kids are 
angry, irritated, mood swings, pimples happening, hair getting irritated, excess dandruff happening because oily scalp, back acne, all this can be a part of teenage, right, of hormone shift. You're facing the same thing at 50s. It's like teenage. You're getting irritated. There is mood swings, dry skin, wrinkles are showing up, fat on the face is shifting, you're putting on weight. So it's, it's a phase. It will pass and uh, try and enjoy it. Try and take it easy. Then what is important for you to do is three, four things. One, three people that can help you. A gynecologist, an endocrinologist, a functional medicine person who is much more newer branch of uh, speciality and of course your dermatologist. As a dermatologist, what can I do? One, of course, we also do a panel of testing to see whether your nutrition is in place, hormones are in place, correct everything, upping the nutrition, sometimes simply upping the vitamin D and B12 is a game changer. Sometimes simply identifying that it was thyroid along with menopause, game changer. So these are things that I do at my practice. Two, a set of supplements. PMS relief, Primrose Plus, uh, Defense, all of these are fantastic for menopausal issues. How and why will be written in the comment. And then you also have procedures in the office simply to keep your hydration intact. If your skin is well hydrated, everything else is sorted. Your aging is sorted, your pigmentation is sorted, everything is sorted. So hydration. For hydration, you can simply get a set of creams from your doctor or we can do biostimulatory injections such as uh, maybe Profilo, which is just hyaluronic acid. You could have a cross-linked hyaluronic acid such as Skin Booster. You could end up doing PDRN, which is salmon sperm extract which is more of the RNAs and DNAs from the salmon sperm. You could also end up using simply polynucleotides, which are some peptides in it, which is protein bits to help repair your skin. So all of these can be just injected into the skin without changing the shape of your face. They are no, they are not fillers. So just gives a natural boost to the skin. Then regenerative medicine is at its peak right now. So simply PRP is regenerative because it has growth factors. It helps rejuvenate your skin and hair. GFC, more concentrated growth factors. You could do things like Regenera, which is taken out from your adipose tissue and stem cells are then injected into your skin. Beautiful. So these are things that you can do. Exosomes, cells forget to communicate with each other. So that is something that we end up injecting. These are extracellular cycles that you end up injecting. So that really helps. So all of these are newer things that you can inject, which naturally helps your skin to perform better, hold hydration, regenerate collagen, elastin and ground substance, keeping you more youthful without altering anything, nor the muscle action, nor uh, the shape of the face. So no filler, no Botox, you can yet do all of this. For the ones who don't want to inject at all, there's enough energy-based devices. There is HIFU, which is highly focused ultrasound, radio frequency, all of this can also stimulate from the outside. And then for some, you could just do the right skin care, like I said, and facials at your doctor's office. That can also help you quite a bit. So, all in all, your dermatologist can help you a lot from both within and without with corrections, with supplementations, and from the outside also with corrections and simply nourishing them. Uh, so have a detailed discussion with your dermatologist, keep the questions flowing. Let's have the discussion on the comment section so everybody can read and benefit from it. If you have loved this video, like, share and subscribe and comment with this emoji. So we shall do more such topics and lengthy discussions on specific topics.